Hi, my name is Joel Gross. I'm the founder of Coalition Technologies, where we build search engine optimized websites. The first the website I'm going to talk to you about today is usdamortgagegroup.com, a website specially built for a mortgage loan officer in Seattle to help him get new leads for his business. USDA Mortgage Group is a website built by Coalition Technologies, but not yet fully search engine optimized. So I'm going to go over a few things that you can do to help optimize a website like this one. The first thing you want to do when you're optimizing a website is discover what keywords you want to rank for. A useful tool for this is the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. The URL for the Google External Keyword Tool is right here, adwords.google.com slash select slash keyword tool external. So you come to this page, you type in your keyword, and this will give you additional keyword ideas. So you think about well, what is your customer searching for when they come to your website? We believe that the customer will be searching for something related to USDA mortgage. So you click keyword ideas, and it shows you a list of all the keywords. And you want to be sure to sort by global monthly search volume, so you can see what the most highly searched keywords are. And then also change the match type from broad to exact. Exact match tells you exactly what people typed into the search engines, whereas broad aggregates many keywords under one key term. This can help you determine what to optimize for on your website. So for example, to make this easy on this video that I'm making right now, I'm just going to optimize for USDA mortgage. Although when I actually do it, I'm probably going to have articles written for all these keywords. I'm going to optimize pages for all these different keywords. Right now, though, I'm just going to talk about USDA mortgage and the home page. We go back over to the home page of the website. You can see some certain factors. Now, there's many things that go on for search engine optimization that don't, you don't see right off the bat. One of those is the title tag. Title tag is what appears right up here in the top of your browser bar. If you want to find out what your title tag is, right click, then click view page source. In the header section of your website, you'll find your title tag here. Now in your title tag, you have about 70 characters to appear in a search engine result. As you can see right here, the title tag on USDA Mortgage Group, welcome to USDA Mortgage Group, is used as the link from the search result. So it's very important to use the keyword in your, in your title tag and also to make it an interesting advertising copy. Now this tag right here obviously isn't optimized. First it's too long, you have the dot 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 at the end. And then the second thing is it's not optimized. It's very important to have your keyword at the beginning of your title tag and also to make it interesting and engaging to your users. So welcome to USDA Mortgage Group, USDA Home Loans Washington, may or may not be interesting to users. Users may rather see USDA Mortgage Group, get your USDA Home Loan here, for example. Another thing that you want to consider when you're building your, when you're looking at the search engine result is this snippet of text that appears right here. If you don't have a meta description tag, or your meta description tag is poorly written, then what will show up in the search engine results is a random snippet of text. Now this right here is just the address from the website, which is not optimal for users. You probably would rather have a user see something more like what the USDA Loans 101 website has, where it says you can apply for a USDA loan in Washington to purchase a new home with no down payment, no mortgage insurance. It's much more user friendly, it sounds like it's going to answer the user's question. So it's more likely to click on this website than on this website. So we need to change this meta description, and we also need to change our title tag. You can see our meta description once again in your source code. It's right underneath your title tag or somewhere else in the header section, and you can change it right here. Now, people used to use what was called the meta keywords tag, but that's actually been discounted by Google and is no longer used. That is why it's not on this web page. Another important factor for building your website and making it search engine optimized is to use the proper page title. So if we had a page title right here, we'd want to use the keyword in it. If we look at a subpage, you'll see that we do have page titles that are, are pronounced. And the fact that the home page does not have a page title is not a good thing. We're going to need to improve that. It's also very important to have good copy. Copy that engages the user, answers the question, and points them where they need to go on your website if they can't find the information right on your home page. It's very important to use your keyword also in this page copy. Now if we look at the website and we type in USDA mortgage, which is our keyword, you can see all the keywords listed on this page by using the control F search function. Now I'm going to move on to off-page optimization. 
Off-page optimization involves a couple of major factors, the most important being links. You need to build links from other people's websites to your website. One example of how I built a link for the USDA Mortgage Experts website is on my own website. I linked to it and mentioned that I had launched a new website for a commercial loan officer named Nick. You can see I used the keyword USDA Mortgages in Washington State as the anchor text for this link. It's very important to build links because links are like votes search engines. They let the search engines know that other people find your content interesting and relevant. Thank you for watching my introduction to search engine optimized websites video and please watch the rest of my videos and hopefully you'll learn more important information about how to build good websites. Thank you.